Welcome to Mary's Kitchen. Today I'm gonna have a, a segment on showing you how to clean fish. A lot of people think they don't need to know how to clean fish, but you got some people out there who don't know how to clean fish. Now what I got here is uh, red snapper, this whole fish with the head on it. A lot of Americans don't like fish with head on it. Now, the best I can do with getting my fish here in Atlanta, I go to the Restaurant Depot in Atlanta. And this is the type of fish I get in this box here. It said Caribbean red fish. In this box comes about 12 to 13 fish. The size that's on this box, the size fish, three quarter to one pound. That's the ones I really get there. Nice fry size fish. And to be honest with you, these fish are pretty good. You know, I can't get the fresh fish like how we can get it in the Bahamas on the water, fresh from off the dock, and you just take it home and season it. No, so I got to use this. But that's all right. This worked for me, and it tastes good. You just got to know how to season it also. So, okay, I got this fish here. This one, probably, I already uh, cleaned this one up. So this one here, I'm going to show you. These two, they need to be clean. Right now, I got, um, I'm going to rinse off my knife. I was cutting some pepper. I got the fins. What I do, I chop the fins off like this. And here, and this little part here. And also, I cut the tail, the fin off. Right there. There now, then I, what I do is, some of these still have a little scale on it, so you got to clean them. Although they clean, these came already clean, I still got to clean them. See, right up in the corner there, they still have some, like, some scale on it. Like right here too, see there? Scale. So they, you know these people, they don't clean these fish good, so that's why you got to go back over it. Else you'll be feeling yourself eating scales off these fish. And what I like, I like um, salt water fish, all my fish. I don't like these uh, fresh water fish, like the ones my husband like to eat, the catfish. You know, he, he's an American, so I ain't no catfish. Now, in here, you cut it like this. They finish open it. That's what I do. I just open it up here. And on the inside, I got this little bag. But under this bag here, you see here? It's like still like blood underneath it. Take this little knife here and and open the bag. There you go. There it go. And look. So I scrape that out. There you go. Now I know a lot of you don't even know that this is under the fish, but I like to reclaim my fish, although it comes already clean. Now what I do, I turn it like this, and then I'm gonna cut this here like that. You slice it like that, that's where you're going to put seasoning in that also. And then, you slice it like this. What I do, I run it under my water here to wash it out. Make sure you scrub out real good. So like, you know, I can't get fresh fresh fish here in Atlanta. I get here in Georgia, so when you go to room, you do what woman do. Alright? Then I put them back up here. Now, this pepper here that I already chopped up, I have chopped up here. What I do, I chop them up like this. That's how these pepper come, like this is the orange one to it. This one just look green. But it's real pepper, we call these gold pepper at home. But the real name, is these ones are scotch bonnet or habanero pe peppers. This one look like a habanero. The other one I had was a scotch bonnet. They be mixing them up. Now when I cut it up like this, I have this little container. You can get any container you want. And I put it in here and I add salt. Right, I already have some in here already. Add up, get my salt, and I just turn it around like this. Now I gotta get a, a little spoon. I had a little spoon. I'll get one. Give me a second. Now, there you go. Okay, I stir it around like this, and, th and with this season, now this, what I have in here, this is only salt and pepper. That's all you need when you get this kind of fish, I promise you. Salt, pepper, and lime juice. Take some out like this, and I take it over here to this fish. And I, what I do, I put it in the middle here first. You just rub it in. 
Take another one. Put a little bit in the head. It's going, it, it looks like it's plenty salt, but it ain't going to be salty, I promise you. But it's just going to have seasoning to it. Flavor, baby. You know, I like to talk about flavor. That's what I like in my fish. Then, I'm going to put it here like this. It's like so, in the crease here. Rub it down like this. I promise you, this, this is the only place on this fish you need to season. And, like this. Like so. Rub it right in there. Now, you see I have another pot here with fish. What you do, you put it, I put it in here. Now, these are my line. My niece, she uh, squeezed these for me and she put it in this little bowl here. And I put it over here, over the fish. Ooh, girl, look here, that lime juice. Mm -mm. And I tell you, and I put it on the inside. Baby, this thing goes you to slap your mama and her sister. This thing's so good. Now, I am not going to, to uh, fry these today. I season them up, get them ready, because I like them to sit and so that season to get in the bone. And that's like when you get some fish and that bone tastes so good, you suck that bone. Oh my God, that is good. See this little bag here? I'm gonna put a few of these in here. And then I put them away back into my fridge. Now it's according to when I'm going to, to fry them. I'll take it out the freezer like a day or so before if I freeze them back up. But these ones, I don't, I'm not going to put them in the deep freeze. The reason being is because I am going to fry these tomorrow. So, but I just have to go ahead and have it. Look here, all this is nice lime juice right here. Mm -mm, that's good right there. That's some good stuff, baby. I promise you. That's some good stuff. So what I do, I take it, put them in here. Close up the baggie, let all the air out for sure. You don't want to keep the air in there. Let all the air out, and then, you see that's my little bad nephew over there, Mason. I can put a little whooping on him, but that's all right. If he keep messing up my video. You know I love him, but I will still whoop him. But, that's what you do. Now, I'm going to continue my recipe, but... Like and subscribe to my page. Go to my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel is Mari's Kitchen. M A R I apostrophe S Kitchen. Or you can put in my name, Anne Marie Turner. And go and like and subscribe my, to my channel, please, so you can see all of my other videos that have to come. Like, subscribe, and share it for me, please. All right, guys. Thank you. I'm going to come back with another segment. I'll show you how to fry these good old fish. Have a good day.